There's also a lot of cathedrals going on apparently. And a shipyard for Martin Pro. Um, the four actually, which is another odd choice. Isn't Ukraine the only nation that has this uh, weird little boat and nothing else? Well, should do remember that, that they don't have battleship. Apparently, Artembrook's gonna build some galleys. Uh, we are pausing. I, uh, oh, it's bacon. Uh, if they continue to put their stupid colors in, in, in another place every game, I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm not gonna, like, redo everything or relearn everything for every next battle. I'm too old for that. And I'm not very old. A lot of cannon fire going on. I think... Uh, um, Bacon is using his peasants to defend his cannon. And yes, that took a while because I was about to say I to go again. And there's the battle with peasants as fodder. Well, that was apparently pretty easy for Bacon. Or not, the cannons are still dealing damage. Not too much, but still enough. Bacon is also capturing a lot of Artem Pro's cannons because he isn't deleting them and Bacon just let, let just let, lets them get recaptured. Or not, he's, he did delete them in the end, well, some of them. Oh, Bacon uses his galleys on a stable. <laughs> Interesting choice. like Bacon did turn the tide after having it in his hand and then losing it somehow then getting it back in his hand interesting his guys sure helped with that unfortunately we didn't see any of the of the weird Ukrainian boats uh, <laughs> almost said the wrong word Uh, but that's a 3 to 0 for Bacon. So next game we are going to have a match ball match. Um, let's, let, let's just call it match ball.
Oh, sorry. And we are, well, uh, I am back. For some reason, loading took way too long. Oh well, what can I do about it? We have 5000 resources on 15 peacetime again with uh, France. And now I'm just not gonna care about who, who picked which color they are just going to, who I'm gonna assign them to, red is bacon, boots out and pro. I don't care. Take the rest of color of it. I'm just tired of 
constantly switching. Or even better, I'm not going to address anyone, I'm just going to use the color, so then I can't make anything wrong. I hope. In the end, I'm gonna call someone orange. Orange. Or else that nobody is actually orange. Well, we'll see. So for now, both are having a third town hall. The blue one has a second barrack. But the red one goes for a stable. Some reason blue is making pikes, but I don't get it why, to be honest. This is 15 piece time, and norm normally pikes are not as effective as musketeers in this situation. Except if your opponent doesn't have any musketeers, which uh, doesn't quite look like it. He only has one barrack. Maybe it's not gonna increase from that from this point on. But if Blue is letting himself get scouted out like this, he's not going to have any success. And then he will have to switch from his fake musketeer into a real musketeer strategy. Because right now, like this looks, he's going to be discovered in a few seconds. Because the musketeer is right on walking into his base. Oh, smart one. He had a musketeer hit, in, hit behind a tree. So now that we have established what the players are going for, one is just, just going for the classic musketeer and the other one is going for um, baguette, fighter that, like baguette fighters that had their baguette stuffed into a pencil sharpeners. I don't know how they are actually called, which is ironic. But uh, yeah, spiky baguettes, very deadly, especially when stale, you can even beat it, beat the enemy with it. Very dangerous. And uh, you know, one is, I once got beaten up with a stay baguette and it wasn't very nice. But uh, this is not the place for that. Some dragoons from the red one. No stable from the blue one. Probably going for a third barrack strategy. Which is reasonable with pikes. He's also going for the coal mines though, which is strange to say the least. Pikes don't need ammunition. Maybe artillery? Uh, I'm not sure yet, but considering he goes pikes, he needs something to back that up with. So yeah, probably artillery. The diplomatic center is also on, so we might see ranchiers from the blue one. I don't know, maybe dragoons, maybe ranchiers, maybe both. We'll see in your time. Looks like they are both going for some kind of world economy though. Instead of focus on food. Not gonna question that though. Red one has the second barrack. So 
so he now can get some more musketeers into his army. Blue has his diplomatic center. Oh, and red one has the siege cossack in the blue space. So now he knows that blue is going for a pike attack and he can prepare for this. I think the, 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 the strategy of blue just got a little bit... Maybe. That's my opinion at least. Um, maybe not, we'll see. But I think it's just got a, a big, big amount of less worth. But at this point, it is certainly too late to switch back onto Musketeers, so uh, you will have to roll with it and potentially win or likely die. We'll see how that works. He will certainly have to be very aggressive. Oh, but he goes for full chat apparently. He goes for knights. Nice. But it means he's forced to attack whatever the uh, situation is. I mean, sure. If there's, if this, if he, if Red goes on the hill next to the base, he can just go around it. But uh, otherwise, there's no real space for Blue to be defensive because he doesn't have anything to back it up with. Even if he uses artillery, he's going to sure put a lot of damage into Red. But I'm sure that Red also makes artillery in. This is the point where it gets interesting because. Red can deal more damage to blue on the distance because he also has musketeer and dragoons as well. And blue only has melee units. So blue basically shoots himself on the foot if he doesn't attack instantly and very aggressively. Blue had, has made some siege cossacks. I don't know why, but uh... We'll see, I suppose. No artillery from blue. No guns. And a bunch of coal. Uh, presumably, maybe he sold it all. Or maybe he's going to sell it all. Or potentially he just gave up hope. But I doubt that one. And certainly he's going to do a weird thing and face the enemy with his butt before turning around now. Red has no artillery either. Well, he has an artillery depot. Which blue doesn't have. Let's see, does red also have any, any artillery built already? No. And he isn't building any either right now. So that might be interesting. What I can say for sure is that blue can't afford to just sit back. He must attack before red gets upgrades. And as if he gives some help. Because with a setup of an economy like this, I don't think that blue is very much uh, flexible in terms of economy and upgrades. Don't think he can just 180 the, sh the ship and uh, put it onto a musketeer course from, from a pike course. He does have Kuras though, one Kuras, so that's going to help a little bit against the shooting units. He builds a second Kuras, so that's going to have even more. Oh, the Siege Cossacks, that sort of Siege Cossacks ran into the Dragoons, but they did not do anything, they just got shot. 
And a big mass assault. Huge Persecs and Knights going into the side. So, um, red has the stand ground formation of round shield. Round shears aren't very good against pikes, but this defense buff gives them a big edge. They got crushed, sure, but blue lost the main hold of his army. It, I think it's game over for blue. With the loss of his army, I don't think he can just regather and uh, punch back. Because the guns are superior just It was an engagement engaged too late. And so we are having a win for Red. Frankly, I respect people that fight until the end, but in this case, I could just bear time and go quickly on to the next battle. Because this is not going to change. And all this just because of the Stangworm formation. What a sad day. But it's just reinforced for the set. Blue didn't have, couldn't afford to sit back and gather units. He had to attack quickly and aggressively, and he didn't. He wasted too much time. But there's still hope he can make it up into the, in the next battle.
And there we are again. Yet another match bar. Now we have 1000 resources again with zero peace time and this time with Saxony. Unfortunately, there isn't really a lot to talk about during the initial phase of uh, zero peace time at 1000 resources. It's basically all the same one mill, one storehouse, one town center, a gold mine or two, and a market. And that's all. After that, the smithy and the barracks, the pikes, etc., etc. Yeah. It's kind of boring of a mode. At least for commentators. Especially for me, because if there's action going on, I can't keep up with it. It's too fast for me. A second down hole for the red one. And for the blue one as well. Potentially traded gold for the resources for the town hall because I didn't see any peasants shopping wood or mining stone. There comes the Academy for Blue. A lot of red scouts. Looks like. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, looks like neutral control. I can only count three gold mines in his potential territory of his own, so uh, looks like neutral control. Probably gonna get wrestled off soon by uh, Blue, because... Probably, I mean. I'm not sure. Diplomatic Center might still be a while back. No, it's not. It's going to be, to be built right now. Same for red.
Uh, some teacher calls that clashes going on in the north. Looks like quite the size of a red. And blue doesn't quite pay attention to it. Hikes engaging with the Siege Cossacks. In the only game where Pike actually use actually lose against cavalry. A red weight onto the blue base. And since the types of blue don't really have upgrades, or none at all actually, if I can do, it's going to be quite the size of a raid and quite successful too. Probably. Blue has this guard up, that's for sure. Hmm, little engagement-ish going on in the middle left. Blue sending in his infantrymen and some pikes. In a battle that he's most low gonna loot? Oh, that's interesting. Blue is taking way too heavy losses, he's even walking his pikemen into the red pike. It doesn't look all too good for blue at this point.
Nah. The blue base is relatively abandoned. Oh, it doesn't look good at all. If he loses his other town hall, it's over, I would say. If Red wouldn't walk his archers through and kill the market instead. But in this situation, it's still okay. Well, somewhat. I still think that the chances for blue are very much small. The red is taking attacking a gold mine of blue, but no success there. Gold mine is being re refueled. Remand. Oh, there is the siege attack. A big one. And there's peasants in the gold mine, and the gold mine has has been taken. Ish. Or not. Oh, it has been taken, and the peasants instantly died because it got retaken. So that's a waste of peasants, at least the gold mine is still standing, so we can just remand it. And uh, these messages, can't can I just put the messages off, off somehow? I can't see the minimap. Looks like a big a big frontal attack is coming in with some dragoons. Blue doesn't have anything that can really counter these dragoons. mine explosion but it only killed one dragoon probably still worth it otherwise it would have gotten captured some mercenary grenadiers for blue they aren't exactly good but they will do the job at shooting at the dragoons even though blue's probably gonna have to micro them for that Well, he doesn't, that's for sure. He's just letting them fire at will. A huge detachment of loose forces is ignoring the main the main battle and instead going for the Dragoons. Which is okay, actually. The battle is going decent for Blue. Defeating the Pikes and the infantry, interesting. This is now where it goes a little bit more interesting. A little detachment of dragoons trying to fight against loose dragoons and grenadiers, horribly failing because blue walks shoots again. Lucky for blue. But now the tables have somewhat turned. Somewhat because blue just got two gold mines conquered by red and destroyed. Ouch. Very... Mm. I 
And the raid is continuing. A coal mine has been destroyed. Blue's Dragoons got caught out and destroyed. Ouch. So the tables have turned again. This battle is getting very heated. Doesn't look too good for blue right now. There's another big raid. He's got a handful of siege cossacks, but they can't really deal with this. mine from blue destroyed Blue's gonna retreat and get shot in the back, killing most of his grenadiers, if not even all of them. Oh, Red has some knights. Game over for, for, for blue again. <sighs> I can feel my brain melting, starting to melt, but uh, I hope it's gonna be over so soon.
And we are back with another battle of millions. No peacetime on the continent. This time the continent, well, almost looks like Spain. So we, now we had like Afghanistan and Spain ish. Well, more like Iberia ish. But, uh, yeah. I'm sorry for, for, for my Portuguese, for Portuguese viewers. But I'm kind of having uh, problems to think right now. Looks like a classical million start. Apart from this time, last time we had Ukraine, now we have Bavaria. At this time, the barracks are prioritized apparently. Which makes sense, you can't really build Hetman as Bavaria. There's a red siege cossack running around. Probably gonna get shot though. Oh, ah no, he's he's been noticed. He could have almost taken out that that 18th barracks, but uh, not like this. Oh well, this is gonna be the classic million fight of infinite 18 Spider-Man against against each other. Uh, statement given. That was a failed attempt for a hill brawl. Ooh, very nasty. There's some easy opportunities for some nice cannon hits on the blue army. While blue continues to shoot on an iron deposit. And loses his cannons to red or not. Probably just some kind of flying, flying glitch with visual glitches. As we know it from this game, it loves to glitch around. And in red, killing pretty much 
a nice bunch of his own dragoons. Blue army getting rocked by cannons. But the enormous amount of fodder just negates and denies every damage to the every other damage to the army. Blue. It looks like Red is not going to have his cannons for very much longer. At least not if he continues at this pace to lose ground. No, some of them are going over into blue control now. Uh, now blue is is getting struck back for some reason. I'm just gonna shut it up. I don't know what's happening anymore. Actually, red just gave a bunch of cannons to blue. Yeah, it doesn't look like Red's gonna do this again. Red has law. Again. Ish. Uh, yeah.
slow and we are back. I think that this is the last game that can possibly happen. The seventh game, therefore, I think. And we will see how that works out. We have 5,000 resources and 15 peace time in England again. Hmm. Oh well, let's see. Red is having one barrack and a stable and three town halls, and blue has two, two uh, barracks and three town halls, and my brain is starting to map funk.
Now we can see a wall, a two wall, to be exact. Um, a big one from red and a small one from blue. Uh, I'm also getting a, a little bit bored of that, it's not obvious. Another wall from blue. Three barracks from blue. Four stables from red. And blue has three stables too. A blue detachment of siege cossacks is running around the Dutro territory. Presumably to start a big raid on the uh, base of Red, which by now has been walled in completely. I don't think Red is gonna attack, but I don't know about blue. I hope the blue attacks though, otherwise, there's nothing gonna move here. And that wouldn't be very nice.
Looks like the raid was semi uh, successful. <laughs> At least one Titch Cossack got through somehow. Uh, but he doesn't seem to be able to move anything. A lot of cannon shooting going on, but nothing else. Mm. At least both players economy should look pretty good at this point. But apart from constant siege, siege battles, there's nothing really going on. And can't find that is. and some of my screen are just completely glitching out at this point.
Oh, there's some 18 Sparrows from Red coming up. None for blue. And I think that blue is trying to make a move for it. Well, I a bit out of position though. There's a bunch of Hussars from red as well, so uh, that might pose a big problem together with the quite nice, like, nicely placed cannon hits from red. So, well, it looks like Lou won this anyway. Partially, it's not over yet. He won the Husa engagement. But the hill is just mashing him. I think at this point the smartest idea would be to just fall back and... Yeah, no, that was just bad. I would have just died on the hill and made for a better engagement. Or went around it. Hmm. We'll see if that will be able to change the round. Nope, that doesn't look like it. Ah, well. That was actually lousy. Oh boy. Oh well. What can we change about it? Nothing. So we appear to have a winner now. And uh, congratulations I suppose. Um, yeah. I don't know what else to say so uh... I'll just leave you to your devices there. And uh... I guess uh... I'll see you... Next time when something is needed... That requires me. And until then... Well... Adiós, amigos.